this is fucking horrifying for me um, in all the right ways. So this, uh, you know, I, I've done, I've been directing for 10 years. Uh, I've done a couple of horror movies. I've always wanted to get into sci-fi action. So this is uh, turning over a new page for me. And uh, it's been a blast, but it's also a big challenge. And I'm learning a lot as I go. This is by far the biggest web series that I've ever done. It's gonna be one of the biggest web series ever mounted, which is pretty exciting. Um, it's, uh, so the last web series I did was, a, was an ambitious project in its own right. It was set over many countries and many years and um, I had a sort of fractured, complicated storyline. This is much more epic in terms of scope and scale because we really are setting out to deliver a action-packed sci-fi uh, adventure for people online. We were incredibly lucky to find somebody for Master Chief who could not only fill the gigantic suit and, uh, and physical requirements, but also is a fantastic actor. So we've got a, uh, an actor stuntman crossover in Daniel Cudmore, who is a six foot eight uh, man who could not be nicer or harder working, despite the fact that we layer him up with 60 pounds of armor and make him uh, do somersaults 30 feet through the air and land on his back on hard, uh, hard soil. Uh, he is just kicking ass and running in slow motion through flames and debris, as we would hope Master Chief does. He has settled into, uh, into the role really quickly and quite easily, or maybe we can ask him, maybe it's a lot harder than it looks, but he's able to use the suit and, and basically uh, gestures to evoke emotion, um, even though we're not seeing his eyes or his mouth moving, we're really getting a lot of emotion out of what would otherwise be this sort of, you know, eight, seven foot tall robot. So we're, uh, we're pretty excited. We feel like we're bringing Master Chief to life in a way that's, that's real, that's uh, kick-ass, but it's also sort of like emotionally grounded. We are super lucky to have gotten an amazing, young sort of breakthrough cast. Our lead character who plays Lasky is a guy named Thomas Green, who's an Australian actor um, who was blowing up on television in, in Sydney when we sort of discovered him. And this will be his first sort of North American project. So uh, yeah, I've been a fan of the game since the beginning. I am, Admittedly, not the most avid gamer in the world, but what grabbed me about Halo was the mythology, the mystery, the story, uh, and the entire world that came with it, as opposed to you know some of the other first-person shooters or third-person shooters, which are really about you know guns, mayhem, carnage, and uh, and action. This had that element, but it also has a really rich, layered story that comes with it, and that's what really sucked me in. So I've been a fan of the of the world from the very beginning, and when this project uh, came across my uh, email, I fell out of my chair. You know, I don't claim that I can do this better than every other director in the world. My job, as I see it, is to do this as well as it can possibly be done. Uh, and part of that job is assembling a world-class team of actors and team of technicians to who are passionate about the Halo universe to bring 150% and, and make this thing uh, as kick-ass as it possibly can be. And that's, that's the team we've got assembled here. And it's an amazing experience because it's electric to come onto this set every day um, and, and just watch people feed off each other's energy and, and passion and excitement for being able to work on something that they love so much.